in Jesus name and welcome you to this precious moment of God's word. Yes, true messages are scarce in our days, but God has prepared his vessel, Apostle Bola Medino, the president of the called out ministry, Alagba de Lagos. This expository teaching of the Bible will enrich, lift and heal lives today. So relax and be blessed as you listen to this message. Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's discuss very, very briefly on what I titled at Calvary. Ejekaso <laughs> Nikukuru. Lori won't see mok bini ni cavalry. At cavalry. Ni cavalry. Thank God for this season. I do pay low a lot of coco ye. That the son of man resurrected. Eti omweni or tio bejin de from the grave. Who no coco? The grave of sorrow. Ipoku e banuje. The grave of weeping. The grave of forgetfulness. The Son of Man resurrected. And uh, He gave us victory over all circumstances of life. In Luke chapter 24. I'll just read briefly in English alone. Luke chapter 24 and from verse 1. Now upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came unto the sepulchre that is the grave bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. This is where you are going to have the confirmation that Christ actually died. Some people, they said Jesus never died. But the Bible says he died. Those who said Jesus never died, they've come and gone. And few of them are still alive. But the bottom line of my argument this morning, none of them can outlive the scriptures. None of them can outlive the Bible. The, the ages of their lives can never outlive the scriptures. The Bible was written before they came. And after they have left, the Bible is still in existence. Therefore, let's believe the teachings of the Bible. The Bible says, and they enter in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus in verse 3. And it came to pass in verse 4. As they were much perplexed thereabout. As in, as in, as in, as in, yes. Yes. Are perplexed thereabout. 
Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Here see, I want to remedy Allah Shuala did not do to one. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the out, Ning but here, who bow one to one see the jubile. They said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? I want to let you know, be one pe a sheti a infin wa Allah ye kiri la ni a woku. He is not here. But he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of the sinful men. And be crucified. And the third day rise again. Tell everybody. The Muslims, our Muslim, the pagans, our like Babo, the Abalis, our Babalao, the tradition, the traditionalists, our Lessi Bile, the Hedins, our JJ, anybody, any Kenny, you see. Around you, tell them number one that Jesus is the Son of God. Tell them that Jesus is the Savior of the whole world. Tell them that without accepting Jesus, they would die in their sins and they will go to hellfire straight. Tell them that Jesus died and he resurrected to give us life in abundance so that the lost man can be rediscovered of which you and I are chiefs. Praise God. Hallelujah. At Calvary, ni Calvary, our burdens was lifted. Ni at muajaga wakro, the burdens of sin. Awa jaga eche, the burden of sorrow. Awa jaga ibanuje, the burden of backwardness. Awa jaga ipada se, the burden of death. was lifted at Calvary. Ni Calvary, latigbe wakro. Thank God for Calvary. Adukwe lo wa lorun for Calvary. Calvary means pain to Christ. Calvary to mercy, irura si Christi. But it meant relief and rest to we who have become believers in him today. So ma wati adi oni gbagbo ninu re loni eye je itura ati isimi fun wa. At Calvary. Ni Calvary. The history of humanity was changed for better. Lati se aye pada eto en da omo omo eniyan fun daradara. Far back in Genesis chapter 3. Ti aba pada sinu we Genesis ori keta. There you will see ni be la o ti gberi how the devil thought of imprisoned man permanently. Bi eso bo se ni erongba ni okan re pe ohun yo fi ran ede eniyan sinu tubu ti ti lai lai has taken humanity hostage be se ni ni to to o ti fi pa pa mura mu eniyan that was what god saw in heaven ohun ti olorun to ki ese ni orun ni and he made up his mind ti o si wa pe nu mo ko the of my hands will not be destroyed ni pe a o ni ba ise owo mi je and so he sent his son ni tori be ohun omo re and they conceived him like a pregnancy in the womb. I feel like telling you that it was possible for Christ to come as an adult from heaven to earth and died for our sins. But for you to know how big our God is, He decided to come like a baby. The Yoruba adage will say, if you want to catch a monkey, then you behave like a monkey. And if Christ had come as an adult to this world, many people would have believed him because uh, it's, uh, it's unthinkable in the history of man to see somebody just descending from the galaxy into the earth planet. But again, many, many people will still not believe. Because they will say, already is an adult. Don't mind him, he's a liar. 
Probably he had been existing somewhere else. So don't mind him at all. But Jesus became a baby. And he went through all human scenarios. Whatever human being can experience, Jesus went through them all. If you're talking about hunger, Jesus was hungry. If you talk about task, Jesus was testing. If you talk about beating, he was beating. If you talk about dehumanizing somebody, he was being dehumanized. He was actually battered. He was beaten mercilessly. Jesus died. Jesus wept. Jesus slept. Jesus trekked. Jesus spoke. Jesus sat. Jesus stood up. So he went through Virtually everything human beings could go through. So that nobody will have an excuse on the final day. Listen to me, child of God. When Jesus came to this world, over 2,000 years ago, he came so that you and I will be saved. He came so that life will be better off for you and I. When he came to this world, he came as a complete human being. He did not come as a God. Because God cannot die. God cannot be beaten. God cannot go hungry. God cannot be tested. God cannot be arrested. God cannot be molested. God cannot be cornered down. God cannot be af no, afflicted. God cannot be dictated to. God cannot be handcuffed. Are you getting me now? Jesus came. When he was coming to this world, he dropped his stealthy in heaven. God bless you, sir. He Amen, dropped it in heaven. And he landed in this world. In a manger. Now, if one will have to be born into this world according to his popularity and his general acceptance in the world. I feel that Christ should have been born in a palace. But he was born in a manger. And that's the topology of humility. That if we believe in him, we live according to his character traits. So that as they look on us, they will see the practicality of his deity in our lives. So at Calvary, the history of humanity was changed for better. At Calvary, the age-long existed enmity between God and man was classically removed. Amen. Amen. Man was living the way he pleases. And because man fell from the grace of God to disgrace, man fell from plenty to penury. Man fell from rest to pain. Man fell from grace to grass. Man fell from being in union with God to being in painful situation with the devil. And in that state of hopelessness, Jesus came and uh, he reconciled us back to God. In Genesis chapter 3, 
ti a ba wo inu we genesis e ori keta ni ngba ti eniyan subu into sin sinu ese god turned his back to man olorun ke yin si yin when god discovered that the devil is going to finish man so gbon ni ngba to olorun wa kiyesi pe esu yo pa rinrun eniyan he quickly made an escape route for man to be saved the second time life ya koko sofo olorun pe se onu abayo fun eniyan lati yo at calvary ni calvary peace was released upon the earth ni ati fi alafia si odi aye if you look at genesis chapter 1 to malachi chapter 4 ti aba wo bibeli lati nu we genesis ori kedin ti de iwe malachi ori kerin you will discovered in kan kan wa to ma mo what actual the last phrase that concluded the old testament was a cause in pe gbo lohun oro e to se ase pari iwe majemu lai lai egun ni let's look at it e je ki aye wo you look at me as if the pastor is preaching heresy bo se nwo mi be ri pe adamo ni mo wa it was a cause that concluded the old testament egun ohun lo je ase pari oro How many of us are there already? And uh, he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a cause yo si pa okun awon baba da si ti awon mo ati okun awon mo si ti awon baba won ki emi o ma ba wa ki si fi aye gegun can you see that she are really it was at calvary ni calvary that jesus removed this cause o ni jesus mu ego eyan kuro at calvary ni calvary we had it is finished for the first time ni ati gbo o pari fun igba koko it is finished o ti pari over the devil lori esu it is finished o ti pari over sin lori ese jesus said that jesus lo so yi a sickness sickness has gone ni pe i sent it law diseases has gone ajakali arun ti lo enmity with god has gone e shota laarin olorun ati ni ti lo no way for you again e banu je ko sa ye fun omo sadness no way for you again e ko ru okan ko sa ye fun omo eternal damnation no way for you again e bi aye raye ko sa ye fun omo unlimited tears go away it is finished christ said e kun asun sunda ma lo o ti pari ni jesus omo olorun wi spiritual and physical barrenness it is finished iya gan ti emi ati odi ara o ti pari deformities gone ibaje ara ti lo and general failures of life ati eko na ni gbogbo e ka 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 igba ye ni o finish o ti pari even hair ati orun apade yes even hair orun apade fun ara re jesus we pe it is finished o pari in the book of isaiah no no we isaiah the bible says bibeli we who had believed our report talent to gba eri wa gbo and to whom is the arm of god revealed ati ta ni a fi owo olorun han fun at calvary ni calvary sorrow was converted to joy la yi iba nu je pada si ayo at calvary ni calvary we realized who we were in nature ni ati mo eni ti a je nipa iseda at calvary ni calvary there the blood of jesus was painfully shed ni be ni ati ta e jesus sile pelu irora at calvary ni calvary the struggle of satan over humanity was terminated ni lakaka isu laarin iran e da eniyan lati mu kuro lai lai at calvary ni calvary christ gave the devil a spiritual technical knockout ni jesus christ lo ti fun isu ni ekan se alubole at calvary ni calvary the first vital spiritual toughest battle was fought and won by christ the commander ni eja to le lati gbe eja ti jesus christ olori ogun wa to si segun at calvary ni calvary our commander lifted up the trophy of victory ni olori ogun wa lo ti gbe ife eye isegun soke people didn't see it awon eni ori until the third day titi di ojo keta the victory of calvary 3 days ago came out vividly to ye pe isegun agbelegu lo wa fi ara hun loju de when the son of man was about to die ningba ti omo olorun ti o se tun ati father o ni baba into thy hand i commit my spirit ni owo re ni mo fi emi mi le and the bible says have not said that bibeli so pe ningba to so oro yi he jitted up the ghost be ni o si ku and the veil of the temple in jerusalem tore into two equally 
aso ileke ni temple ni jerusalem o si ya ke gbe gbe ni ogoba that everybody has the spiritual audacity to enter into the holy of holies and fellowship with god without a middleman anymore to tu ma si pe gbogbo re eniyan lo ni anfani lati wo ibi mimo lo lati ni iba se po pelu olorun lai si pe enikan be laarin won mo prior to the death of christ to to di akoko iku jesus if anybody was to worship in the temple in Jerusalem. You are to queue up. Oh, ni lati to. Yes, you queue on a line. Oh, wa lori ala. And until it is your turn, you cannot enter. Titi di gbati a fe kan, o ni le wole. And even when your turn comes and you enters, to ba si wa tu akoko re lati e ti wole. You are to stand in the general place of wa. worship. Oh, ni lati du o laarin ibi eru awon eyan lati just. And there is a middle wall of partition before the general circular place where everyone is permitted to stay and uh, where the priest will go into the holy of holies atoling for the sins of those who have come for the remission of their sins o gire dabu o si wa laarin ibi ti ogoro awon eniyan yo ti gbe fun ijo si ati ibi ti alofa olorun yo ti lo fun ejirebe fun imukuro ese awon eniyan so even when you come to the temple nigba to ba ti wa si temple in gba na who burn you that you will go into the holy of holies even the priest himself has the the privilege of entry into the holy of holies once in a year and each time he goes into the holy of holies listen to me now they will tie a rope to a a bell like this and tie it to his waist. He will enter into the Holy of Holies. He will collect the turtle dove in your hand or the eagles in your hand. He will slaughter it and collect the, the, the blood into the basin in the name of your family. And he will enter into the Holy of Holies making atonement for you, uh, sprinkling the blood he has collected from you on the horns of the altar over the mercy seat that God should cover your sin. Not that God should forgive your sin. God should cover it. Meaning that there are certain things you can still do after your sins has been atoned for. If those things are grievous, God will uncover your sins. He will remember your sins. He will visit your sins with judgment that will be unbearable for any man on earth. So the, the, the priest will now enter into the Holy of Holies. For you to know that he's still alive, he will be walking from one place to another. You can't see him physically because there's a middle wall of partition in between all of you. But he is there. The jingling of the bell tells you that the priest in the holy of holy is still alive because if he enters into that place with sin in his life God killed him there and nobody is permitted to go there and bring him out the rope that has been tied on his waist that's what they will use and drop him out of the holy of holies because the holy of holies is hallowed sacred made holy sanctified unto the god almighty himself at that particular time in the old pentateuch you see God seated invisibly on the altar why the priest ministers is that taken ningba ti alofat ti o ba fe wo ibi mimo julo yi won ni lati so agomo ibadi re to ba si gba eje ati eyele ati obuko lawo awe eniyan sinu agbada lati lo fi se etutu fun awon eniyan ni ibi mimo nitori pe ibi mimo yi o je ibi mimo ti olorun oga ogo ti ogo re ti o joko si ti eni keni o le gbojugboya lati wo ibe afi o nikan so pelu ogire dabu to wa laarin ogo eniyan ati ogo olorun a ni lati wo ibe pelu okun ti won ti so mo ibadi re ningba to ba sise sisin olorun awon eyan a ni anfani lati ma gbo woro woro ago na nitori pe bi ese kan ba ba wa nu aye re yo ku sinu ibi mimo julo olorun ye ko te se da laye to gbojugboya lati wo ibe sugbon okun tun won so mo ibadi re ni won afi wo jade is that taken see you can see the agony and the rigors people went through just in the bid of serving god in the old testament that's the cause that Christ came to remove. Ale ri eh ise lakaka ti awon eniyan ti won la koja lati sin Olorun ni akoko igba majemi lai lai egun ni eleyi egun yin na ni Christ ti tori ire wa lati mu kuro. At Calvary, ni Calvary, a commander lifted up the trophy 
of victory. At Calvary, a total restoration was declared. At Calvary, our total restoration was declared. At Calvary, humanity secured eternal attention. If not for what Christ did at Calvary, heaven will never look upon anybody on earth again. I feel like telling you from Malachi chapter 4 to Matthew chapter 1. There was a brief period of silence for 400 years. 400 years. 400 years. There was no doses the Lord. God was annoyed. No prophet to break that silence. God was in heaven and humanity were here. No connection between God and the earth because of sin. But suddenly, Christ came and broke the silence. At Calvary, the power embedded in an innocent blood cried for vengeance. Christ demanded for the freedom of humanity from Satan. When Jesus was lifted up at Calvary, he began to demand for freedom from man. And suddenly, the devil refused that it will never be until Christ was lowered down to the grave. And when Christ was lowered down to the grave, he went to the Hades to preach to the souls of the saints of Old Testament that were in prison. And then some, I'm giving you now mystery. I'd like you to understand what I'm saying. Psalm 24 came into existence. Lift up your head, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory will come in. Then the devil said, who is that king? of glory. Yes, I have told you before now. Each time you quote the Bible, Satan, Satan will listen to you. Your situation will listen to you. If you, if you didn't, didn't quote it in the right way, it will never work for you. So who is this king of glory? And Jesus began to introduce himself. The Lord that is mighty, strong in power. The Lord that is mighty. The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And humbly the devil submitted the key of life and death to the hands of Jesus. Praise God. At Calvary, the grace to be forgiven was, was uh, purchased. The grace to be forgiven was purchased. Lara, yes, was proclaimed. At Calvary, judgment was tampered with mercy. Jesus, Jesus Christ, tempered judgment with mercy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because of his death on the cross. At Calvary, Calvary, fact was grouped topically. At Calvary, Calvary, the gap between creation and the creator was bridged. At Calvary, Calvary, Jesus stood at the gap to pay the highest price demanded from humanity 
for their salvation. Me Jesu Christi lo ti gbe duro ni agbedigbe meji to si san ediyele ti a bere fun irapada okun. Remember without the shedding of the blood there can never be the remission of sin. E ron si pe lai si eta je sile ko le si imukuru ese. The blood of he goats and the blood of lambs and the blood of turtle doves can never save anybody from sin. E jo buko but the precious blood of the Lamb who died a propitiation for our sins was shed on the cross of Calvary. And the Bible says, look unto him and be ye saved from the ends of the earth. At Calvary, complete salvation at once was atoned for. I love your interpretation, but I just wanted you to say it that way. At Calvary, Complete salvation at once was atoned for. At Calvary, ne Calvary, permanent, acceptable, and perfected sacrifice was made. And if you know all these, that Jesus went through all these for you to be saved. Look up here now. You will never allow your services unto him to look like insult or temptation. Many of us, we serve Jesus as if deliberately we want to tempt him to see what he will do. We serve Jesus deliberately to tell him that who are you? You are using your services to tempt him or to insult him. It should not be. At Calvary, Jesus connected the heart with heaven. At Calvary, the lost button was rediscovered. At Calvary, the banner of Peace was displayed. At Calvary, God jumped protocols. At Calvary, fear gave way to boldness. It was what Christ did at Calvary that gave people boldness to come to the Holy of Holies. At at Calvary, ne Calvary, the door of mercy was reopened. At Calvary, ne Calvary, ultimate blessings is obtainable. At Calvary, ne Calvary, our sonship right was restored. At Calvary, ne Calvary, we receive grace to cry, Abba, Father. At Calvary, ne Calvary, we receive grace to dominate every unpalatable situations and unpleasant trace of life. At Calvary, ne Calvary, the law was swallowed up in victory. At Calvary, ne Calvary, the curse was graciously removed. A new fire was opened for humanity. At Calvary, ne Calvary, Jesus was declared the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And at his name, every kneel will be. Let me shock you. Anybody that says they are bowing to God in whatever name of religion in the world, indirectly, they are bowing to Christ they did not know. They didn't know. After their death, they will know that it is Christ they are actually bowing to and they never knew. Because the scriptures can never be broken. 
Pilate said, Pilate will be, What has been written has been written. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oki garafa, oki garafa in Hebrew tongue. Ninu o ede eberu ikpe oki garafa, oki garafa. What has been written has been written. Oh, unta ako atiko. You can add to it. Oh, lefiku. You can subtract from it. Oh, se ye kuro nunu re. But in your ignorance, you may not have the understanding. Shugmanu nua imoka mo kore o le mani o ye. Because God's foolishness is wiser than the wisdom of man. Nito ikpe okpe olano o shi olagman ju okpe ni olano. The Bible says the preaching of the cross. Bible is ikpe we wasu agbelebu is madness stupidity hopelessness nothingness to those who we perish oje isiwere leti awon to ma segbe but to those to those of us who are saved sugbon si awa ti agbala it is the gift of life oje iye igbala praise god hallelujah when i say praise god say good hallelujah hallelujah amen amen at Calvary, ni Calvary, sins was judged. Ni ati she da jue she, condemned. Ni ati da lebi, and punished by Christ. Ti Christ is it genia? It was at Calvary, ni Calvary, that Jesus judged sin. Lo ti she da jue she, condemned sin. Ti o ti da she lebi, and what did he do with it? What did he do? We say again, and punished the sin. O si je e she ni ya. If you are a sinner. And you just come to Jesus now, right away. You will be saved. And Jesus will look at you as if you never sinned against him at any time. Why? The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness. For with heart man believeth unto righteousness. For by mouth confession is made unto salvation. And he that cometh to me, I will know why is cast out. No matter who you are, I will never cast you out. But no man takes my life from me. But I have the power will to both lay down my life and to take it back. He demonstrated that on Friday day over 2,000 years ago he laid down his life Pilate, Pilate was beating him members of the Sahendrins were scourging him and yelling over him the doctors of law in his time they were yelling at him the scribes the Pharisees and Sadducees they looked at him as nobody and in the language of Isaiah 718 years ever before Christ was born he predicted about the calamity, about the, the suffering that Jesus will, will go through. In Isaiah chapter 53, he, he took time in the spirit of God to explain to details what Christ will go through. Everybody look up here. If you don't value this message, you disvalued what Christ did for you. If this message has no part in you, you have no part in the kingdom of God. If you don't see yourself in the light of this message, you have name in the book of life. This is the primary reason for the existence of Christianity. Christianity will have been no way different from any other religion in the world. Because all other religions in the world had their leaders at one time or the other. Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, everything. They have their leaders. But their leaders died and never resurrected. 
brain them. Your brain, they will tell you. Once of all, yes, we did have a leader. Lord, Tony, I want you to die. Oku. And he never resurrected. So, man, Koji. Even in Quran, you know, Quran, the name of Jesus was mentioned over 2,000 times. And the name of Muhammad was never mentioned for once. To tell you the significance of Christ's rose in the world. Is there in Quran? And blessed is the day that I will kill you, and blessed is the day that I will raise you all. Is there in Quran? That if you do not believe in Jesus, you have no part in me in this world and hereafter. That's why if you see a devoted Muslim, he believes so Muslim a devoted Christian Muslim. Praise God. Hallelujah. He he will be he will tell you he believe in Jesus. But they are believing him in Jesus. So is a shallow type. They will tell you Jesus is just a prophet. And Jesus is coming back because he was disallowed to marry when he came back, when he came for the first time. But now he will come back. So and he will marry and have children like prophet Muhammad. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Jesus is not coming back to marry and to raise children. We are his children. Now, you know, sometimes see the Muslims, they, they will say, and then let, and where well, rise up, and then let, rise up, and then let, and then let, and then let, and then and then let, and then let, and then the sleeping that you sleep for 1,000 years without rising up, rise up now. Let me tell you the full uh, meaning of that statement. They are ignorantly referring to the time of Christ's millennial reign. Because all the wicked dead, all the sinners that died in their various sins, at the time of the Christ's millennial reign, they will still be stocked up in their various graves. Meanwhile, their souls will be in the Hades for torture. And immediately after that era, their souls will leave the elders to come and locate their bodies in their various graves. So that's what they are referring to without knowing. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's what they are referring to. So understand the scriptures. And follow the scriptures. Yes, it is. Look up here. Look up here. Okay. The scriptures cannot be broken. If you don't know the Bible, you will die in church and from church you go to hell straight because you don't know the scriptures. The Bible says they err because they know not the scriptures. They made mistakes because they know not the scriptures. So the Bible is closely interwoven. No part of the Bible is a mistake. Everything works together for the perfection of humans' salvation. When you detach Genesis from Revelation, your Bible becomes incomplete. When you detach Exodus from Psalms, then your Bible is incomplete. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that the word of God has been tried in the fire seven times and found Perfect. The Bible says, Thy word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. The Bible says, Forever this word of God is settled where? 
in heaven. The earth may deny the word of God, but the word of God is forever settled in heaven. Only titi lai olorun oro re kale ni orun ayeye a le se oro olorun sugbon ni orun o kale. And when Jesus came, ni nigba ti Jesus Christ He said the heaven and earth may pass away. Only orun only orun atayeye o koja lo. Nothing in my word will pass away. Only ki ki ni kan lu oro oro mi ki yo koja lo. If you are here this morning and you are not writing anything down, you didn't do well. Bo ba wa mi ba lo oro ni to ko nko mu o se da to. I told us. Ni to mo ti so fun you are coming to this church you come with writing materials i don't expect you to be looking at me when you ought to write things down failure to jot down messages means that you will forget later those who keep record don't break record if you are fond of coming to church without jotter you will know God on the periphery. You your Christian life will not be deep. Yes, you are a tree in the fold, but you do not have tap root, secondary root, and every other root. You don't have because you are not you are not a jotting. Christian. Go and look at serious minded Christians. Whatever is said in the church by their pastors, they jot them down. No, to you now, you think that this message I'm bringing it out for the first time. I preached this message. 17 years ago. Look at the diary. 17 years ago. Are you seeing the diary? 17 years ago. You think I'm just bringing it up? Those who keep record, they don't break record. I want you to be careful. You are not walking in the road. The first time I preached this message, 17 years ago. How many of us are born again then? I want to let it be a no. Lift up your hand. If you are born again, 17 years ago, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands if you are born again, 17 years ago. 17 years ago, you are born again. Let's see that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Learn how to keep record. I have up to five, six diaries now. Containing my lifestyle, my preaching, and focus in Christ. Documented. And on the day that my first daughter will be wedding, I will hand it over to her to train her younger ones. I will tell her in tears. This is my life. This is my belief. This is my focus. This is my hope in Christ. And to you I'm handed I'm, I'm handing them now. Use it to take care of your younger ones. Your blood be on your neck because it's no longer my neck i have tried to have documented all this for you what hope of future do you have for your children what plans do you have for your children or you want christianity to die over you you want christianity to die would you? No. Pass Para. the baton across. Pass the baton across. Repeat after me. So tell me. I will not be the last Christian in Nigeria. I will not be the last Christian in my family. I will pass the baton across. And everyone will know that Jesus is Lord. Through my life, my messages, and my focus in Him. May God help me. May God help me. At Calvary, God's anger against man was pacified. At Calvary, 
The last chance was given to man. Last chance to succeed. Last chance to make heaven. Last chance to know God. Last chance to enter their names in the book of life. At Calvary, our debt was paid. At Calvary, Calvary, we pass from condemnation to justification. At Calvary, Calvary, our lives was reformed, refreshed, rehabilitated, reinforced, regulated, remolded, and preserved. Yes, preserved for eternal glory. Thank God for Calvary. Cavalry, 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 I will not forget Cavalry, Cavalry, Cavalry. Calvary, 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 I will not forget Calvary. My sister, please come. I bring me one. Hallelujah. Amen. When Christ was on the cross, they beat him. He said, I'm not pained. I'm not pained. Because I want to save Bola. They slapped him. He said, it doesn't move me. I want to save Awoni. Take this wine. Can I bring them, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Oh, I want to save Mama Bugu. <laughs> Give him the crown of thorns. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, Is it not telling you? <laughs> so you are seeing the blood, but I'm seeing the glory because I'm saving Mama Gideon. Piercing from the side. I don't I want to save this man. I want to save the whole world. That was what Christ went through. All for you. All for me. How are you going to pay him back? Bow down your hands. Bow down your hands. I appreciate him. Grace. Thank you for your time to listen to this message. I'm convinced that God's word has touched certain areas of your life. So make that right and godly decision today and experience that desired possibility.